for tuning back in to Pets on Parade. Now, personally, Christian Bale has been my favorite Batman, but this Batman is even better, Janine. Batman. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I'm, I'm doing a Kelsey here. Sorry about that. <laughs> this cat is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Super snuggly, very well behaved, beautiful little panther. And it came in with some, um, it, with its siblings, URI, upper respiratory, and some fleas. And it went to the foster her's home and is just thriving now. He's, he's ready to go to his forever home because he's like revving up here. Um, what I wanted to talk about real quick is the Humane Society, we use canned dog food and cat food like crazy. We go through four cases a day and we were, we're completely out. We're, it's critical needs. So if you guys can step up and you know bring in some donations, any of our locations will we'll take it. And also if you do have a large donation, you can actually call and we'll come get it from you. Um, and if you can't go out and buy any, then just a monetary donation would be awesome. But <laughs> you want to come up? And he, the thing is, is um, kittens like this, they are, they're learning all their skills. They're learning their, their hunting skills. And, you know, if you have appropriate play toys with things that mimic the outside, you know, feather wands and balls, the things that they can grab onto and kick, that's going to, you're, you're going to bond with your little critter and you're also going to give them the stimulus that they need. And he's ready to rock and roll right now. But look at this little face. Hello, are you telling everybody, come take me home? Yes. <laughs> so, you guys got to come down and check out this little Batman. He is going to be the light of your life. Looking for his Robin, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. And great news, the 11-week-old Chihuahua puppies who were found in a dumpster a few weeks ago have found loving homes. Three amazing families have adopted Rose, Blanche, and Dorothy, named after the Golden Girls, and we could happy to see them find the love they've always deserved. We wish that their siblings, who unfortunately passed away, could have had the same second chance, but are so thankful for the support these little ones received, both locally and nationally. As heartbreaking as it is that these pups were left for dead by a very cool person, the outpour of support reminds us that there is more good than evil out there. We continue to urge those with information about this case to please reach out to Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. Any information helps. And it might be a little too hot for a s'mores party in Phoenix, but we can always make room for Marshmallow. What is this handsome boy's backstory, Perry? Well, Kelsey, this uh, little doggy was a transfer from an emergency animal clinic to us and uh, very, very tick infested. In fact, I can still feel some of the bites on little Marshmallow right here. And our blood results showed that uh, Marshmallow was extremely anemic. So we sent him off to a foster home where foster hero Heather did a fantastic job and getting the anemia thing all taken care of and he's good to go now. But in this whole process, we found out that Marshmallow is indeed blind. And it might surprise a lot of people because Marshmallow doesn't have the kind of eyes that you see using in blind dogs. Very, very clear and very, very alert, but he is blind. So when you have a blind dog, you just uh, not all hope is lost. It's not that big of a deal in a lot of cases. There's some tips we have for you though. First of all, um, talk to your dog a lot. I'm a big, big believer in talking to dogs and, and even more so when they're blind. So give them that reassurance by talking to them, knowing you're, you're there all the time for them. Use smells and things like that. Don't startle them when they're sleeping. You might want to just very, very lightly touch them somewhere just to wake them up. Um, use your voice. Uh, in your home, please don't move around furniture. <laughs> a lot of people like to redecorate every so often. You don't want to be doing that when you have a blind doggy in your house. Tell the children to pick up their toys and have no clothing on the ground. Have their water and food in the same place all the time. Um, and then just uh, let them be in their home and they'll find their way around. They are very, very uh, resourceful. When one of the senses goes, the other ones always come to the forefront. Little Marshmallow here is a gorgeous, gorgeous poodle. He's very, very handsome. And hey, if you're looking for a perfect lap dog, you know, the blindness shouldn't really be a big issue for you. He's going to sit in your lap like this all day and be the good little boy he is. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for those tips, Perry. And now we are so lucky that today on Pets on Parade, we didn't just have just one great partner, but two great partners. We have Monica Nelson from Riviera Broadcasting. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having us, Kelsey. Yes. Now you guys are doing something really awesome. You're helping our keep our pets cool. Can you tell yes. us about that promotion? Uh, our promotion is called Keep Our Pets Cool. <laughs> and every morning at 8 and also at noon and 5. Um, oh, no, I said the wrong times. Oh. <laughs> okay.
Every day at 8, 2, and 5. Yes, there we go. Yes, Those are the right ones. We have Keep Your Pets Cool tips. Mm -hmm. And you can find them all on our website, too, theoasisphoenix.com. We are found on the dial at 95.1 and 94.9. And we are trying to raise $15,000 for the month of August to help with life-saving medications for your Second Chance Hospital. Oh, my gosh. And you know what? It's never the wrong time to listen to you guys. So you can listen yes. all the yeah, time. Yeah, I prefer 24-7, <laughs> but, you know. Just in case you can't. <laughs> now, you, this is not the first time that you guys have helped the pets at AHS. Can you tell us why it's so important for you guys to be helping little ones like Batman here? Well, so many of our listeners are pet lovers, and we know how much joy and, and excitement you know, all these guys can bring to a family or a home. Mm -hmm. And knowing uh, that we can really make a difference in saving lives. <laughs> and I have three teenagers, and <laughs> we have dogs and cats at my house. And I'm telling you, even with everything they have going on, just the fun that they bring to our lives and stress-free stuff. I mean, I think it lowers blood pressure the whole nine yards. <laughs> yes. I'm all about it. So. It definitely does, yeah. yes. Now, okay, so we're trying to raise $15,000 through you guys. One more quick reminder on how they can do that, where they can get their information, okay. and all that jazz. Keep your pet cool. Be found at theoasisphoenix.com. Also, you'll hear them on the air every day, 8, 2, and 5. And great examples would be if you have a dog at home and you're working, maybe put some broth and water and toys in a bucket or a bowl, freeze it, and then the puppy can play with it all day. Yes, so I love like that. that. Yeah, yes. the whole list is on our website, too. Oh, my goodness. That is so fantastic. Thank you so much for helping keep our pets cool, and thank you guys for your support yeah, of Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so make sure you guys are tuning into the radio while you're going to AJ's. And make sure you keep it locked right here. We're going to show you the pretty side of this little girl after the break.